Hey, what's up jailbreakers? So Pongu has released an update to their very popular iOS 9 jailbreak. Uh, it now supports the Mac platform, so you're able to jailbreak using a Mac natively. I wanted to show you guys a new tutorial for it, um, just how to install this on your Mac. And yeah, so we want to head to the website here and download the latest um, version, which is currently 1.10 for the Mac. Once you download it, it'll appear in your downloads folder. Now, your downloads folder could be here in the finder where you open up a window and go to downloads. Open this DMG, drag it into your applications, and drop just like that. So, once you have that, you can open up the Ma or the Pangu app. Now, you're going to have to make sure you have your device plugged in. If your device has never been plugged into your computer, make sure that you trust it. As well as you need to open up iTunes and actually continue trusting on both the computer and the device side. Once this is complete, make sure that you close iTunes and then open up the jailbreak tool that you downloaded. So here we are guys, uh, we have the latest on this device here is a jail or a fresh restore and we're just going to hit jailbreak. So I've already backed up my device. The process will be the same as on Windows, so you'll want to open up airplane mode that you can access from the settings or you can also access it if you pull into your control center here. Once you've put on airplane mode, you can just leave the device. Normally, don't touch it. So the device has to reboot the first time here. So after reboot you will be required to log in with your password. And then you'll want to go back into settings and turn airplane mode on again. Now if you head to your second page here, still don't touch anything. You'll see you have the Pangu and the WWDC app. Now wait until it tells you to open the Pangu app just like it is here. You need to now select accept. Sorry guys. Oh that's horrible. I'll just turn it. Make sure you allow it to uh, access your photos. Now you may just leave the device the way it is. Again, you'll want to be patient and allow this to complete, so don't rush it, don't uh, touch anything on the device. You will receive the storage is almost full notification. You can click done. I'm just choosing to leave it. Now the device is going to need to reboot. This will be the final reboot as we've gotten a jailbreak complete. So we did succeed on the jailbreak. You can now disconnect your device.
Now you'll want to unlock your device again. Now this is kind of an important step before you go jumping into Cydia here. You need to go into your settings. And you need to turn airplane mode off um, for two reasons. One, you need an internet connection when you open Cydia for it to load. Two, there were some reports earlier on in the jailbreak that it actually caused an issue with Cydia. Now you need to go to your second page and open the Cydia application. Uh, this preparing system files process can take a bit of time depending on how much is on or how much information is on your device and uh, which model you have. So this is iPad Air 2. It should be fairly quick. Once the process is finished, you'll get another respring here. If you're new to jailbreaking, a respring is like a soft reboot. It doesn't have to fully reboot. It just has to, it's a semi-reboot, re, like a refresh. So on your second screen now, you will be jailbroken. So you'll be able to go in here. You can see down here we're on iOS 9.0.2 and we have the Cydia 1.16 installed. Now you may have to do some updates. I have about five here. So I'm going to want to go upgrade, confirm, finish all my updates. And now I'm going to probably do a respring and I'm good for installing tweaks. So that's how you guys jailbreak the iOS 9 using a Mac versus Windows. It's the exact same process. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel for more videos. We'll see you again next time. Cheers.